Hey guys, welcome back to another quick form video. In today's video, of course, it's gonna be super easy. I'll show you this is through Boost Mobile's official website, guys, how easy it is to set up the APN settings. If you are activating a Boost Mobile phone that is using the AT&T network, of course, Boost Mobile uses now the AT&T or the T-Mobile network. So uh, if you went ahead and chose the AT&T network with Boost Mobile, I'll show you that once you pop the SIM card in there. So if you have an unlocked phone and it's compatible, um, so I have an S8 right here, or yeah, ooh, S9 actually. So I have an S9 right here, guys. I don't know if it'll focus or not. Um, <laughs> the screen's pretty cracked on it, so it's kind of my tester phone. Um, <laughs> but yeah, guys, so that's going to be my tester phone with the uh, Boost Mobile 18 network. And of course, once you activate it, Mine worked with calling and uh, texting, but of course the internet and MMS messages did not work. So that means we had to change the APN setting. Super easy. Uh, this is for Android on Apple. It's a little different, but this is going to be for Android. So very easy steps. Like I said, these are through Boost Mobile's website. I just want to make a video and show it to you guys. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. But super simple. On your Android phone, you're going to go to settings. So right there. So settings on your phone. So that's going to be... Uh, step number one, let me uh, draw this stuff out. So step one's going to go to settings, of course. Now, uh, step uh, two, you're going to go to connections, network connections, um, network, internet, depending on the phone. So basically, you, once you get into your settings, you're going to go to connections or anything like that, guys. Anything that has to do with the connections of the phone. After that, of course, you're going to go to mobile networks. So once you're in mobile networks, guys, you're going to go to mobile data. So because you want to make sure it's enabled. So you just want to make sure that your mobile data is enabled. So once you're in the mobile networks, you want to look for anything that's APN, but really it's going to say access point name. So if you're looking for APN, at least on my Samsung S9, it did not say APN. It said access point name, which is the same thing as APN guys. Sometimes it may be in the advanced options. So just be worried about that. Once you get there, mine already had an APN set for it, which made you think, oh, wait, I already have an APN set up. Nope. You're going to want to click the plus or the add. It might also say add a new APN. I think mine just said add. Um, so once you click add, it's going to give you a bunch of information. Don't be scared. We're going to basically fill all that in. And sorry, I still have a cough, guys. I'm still coming over from a cold. <coughs> sorry about that. I had a cough. Um, so these are the only things that we'll need filled in, guys. So like I said, once you click add an APN, you're like, oh, my God, what is this? Now, remember, it, you will have a lot of options that you will not need to fill in. So don't be wary about that. You do not have to fill it in. And some of the some of you guys already might know how to change APN settings. Like I said, this is more for a beginner, somebody that's never had to change an APN settings that's been with Boost forever, and you just pop a SIM card and boom, it works. Or you take it to a store and they they'll do it for you. But like I did, I just ordered the SIM through BoostMobile.com. This is what we do. So first, you're gonna look for for the, for the name. So the name you're gonna change that to Boost. So remember, when you click name, you're gonna have a little blank, and then you're just gonna fill that in with this information. So. It says boost and it'll say, what do you want? You're gonna type in boost. And then you're gonna look for APN. You're gonna type in e resell, e reseller. So all together and just type it in the way it is. Then you'll get to MMSC. You're gonna type this the way it is guys. So HTTP colon slash slash MMSC.mobile dot at and dot net guys so you're gonna type it in just like it is so no spaces exactly like this if there's a period like right there right there right there you have to put them in so just the way it is if not it's not gonna work then you're gonna look for mms proxy for some reason i did not see mms proxy it said multi media proxy so if it's multimedia proxy, that's the one. So as long as it says proxy, that's the one. So same thing, you're going to type in proxy.mobile.attnt.net. So this is what you're going to type in right there, guys. And I know, sorry if these lines uh, kind of gets in the way, but it'll get rid of it, you know. And then you guys can like pause this video or, or anything like that. Um, now the MMS port or multimedia 
uh, port. Um, as long as you see something that says port, you're gonna click it. It's gonna ask for a number. The number is 80. So might be a little hard to see here, but it's 80. Now you're gonna look for the APN type. It's gonna say, at least on my phone, it said just default. But remember, it's this whole thing you have to type in. So default, comma MMS, comma SUPL, comma FOTA, F O T A, um, comma X C A P. So default, just like it is. Remember, comma MMS, comma S U P L, comma F O T A comma x c a p type it in like it is like i said if there's commas you're going to type in the commas where they are so after that the apm protocol at least on my phone was correct it's, it's either going to give you this option or this option it has to be both they'll give you an option that has both make sure they're both on there then the roaming protocol same thing make sure they're both for me this apm enable disable was um was grayed out i cannot enable it you, you'll enable it once you add it and then mvno type you want to change that and make sure it's gid so it's going to make you change it so some of this stuff you won't type it'll also give you a choice once uh, you have that go ahead and click save or the back button if you have the the save option of course click save on mine it just let me go back and once it's on there you'll see now that the apn name will be boost that means you did it correct, as long as everything else here was typed in correctly. After that, just go ahead and restart your phone, turn it off, turn back on, and voila, it's fixed and it works and you can access the internet. I did this, followed it the correct way, and like I said, my phone was up and running and now I'm getting pretty good speeds here in the country. So, not too bad at all, guys. So, uh, let me know what you think about this, guys. Uh, Pretty easy steps, I, I think. You know, anybody can do it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Um, let me make this a little bit. Um, here, let me make this a little bit. Uh, maybe that's too. Here you go. Let me make this a little bit uh, bigger for you guys so you guys can see the steps there. If you want to go ahead and pause it and follow the steps. Um, and of course, everything. Um, if it's nothing looks like it's um, capital, uh, just a MVNO you know, type looks capital, but remember that's just a type. But overall, if, if you do this with Boost Mobile, as long as you use, are you using Boost Mobile um, AT&T settings, this will work. Now, if you're using Boost Mobile T-Mobile settings, this will not work because this is, these APN settings are for AT&T. So thank you for watching, guys. Please comment, rate, subscribe, drag on the for our sign off. Like I said, I know. A lot of people probably know how to do this, but this video is meant for the people that don't know how to do this. Hopefully, I didn't blabber too much, and this was an easy guide for you guys. Thank you for watching, guys. Please comment, rate, subscribe. A lot more videos coming your way. And like I said, doing this will make your uh, Boost Mobile AT&T phone internet work. So thank you so much.